Okay, guys, so first we're going to go over the two different softwares um, that I recommend you use. The first one is Gaiazo. Gaiazo works really well. It's super easy. Um, I use it all the time for a bunch of different things that I work on. Basically, how it works is you'll just get a, um, a desktop icon like this. You'll click it, and then you can screenshot whatever you'd like. It'll open it up in your... Um, in your browser and then yeah it's super easy super quick you can also use it to make gifts so yeah definitely recommend going and checking out Gaiazo. the second uh, off, uh software that we're going to be using is called pdf escape um it is free you can use the online or the desktop version but in this uh tutorial we're going to be using the desktop version so yeah go ahead and download those guys and um after that you'll also want to download your label so the label that we're going to be working with right now is this one right here. And as you can see, this is not in a 4x6 format. I don't know why, but sometimes eBay gives me these labels even though I have it um, set for 4x6 in my shipping um, preferences. But sometimes it spits me out one of these guys. And um, usually I can just click the screen grab feature using the Dymo Connect software. But it stopped working for some reason super annoying but it is okay because we figured out a different way to make it work so after you have this opened up in pdf escape you're going to want to click on your gaiazo and you're going to want to screenshot actually no before you do this you're going to want to turn it counterclockwise so it's in the correct um uh, pr position so after that you want to open up gaiazo and screenshot it just screenshot the label just like this and if you screenshot this and try to put it in the Dymo Connect um, desktop software, it'll come, it'll pop up super, super uh, low resolution. Um, so that won't work. So this is um, what you're going to get. And now you're going to want to save it to your desktop or wherever. You're going to want to save it just like that. And then you're going to want to open it up in PDF Escape. Click Browse, open it up and you can zoom out i'm probably gonna have to blur a bunch of this because this has my actual address and the customer's address so just bear me, bear with me on the blurring but yeah anyway so after you open this up it'll be in the correct position and although it does look kind of low resolution it's totally okay um after that you just want to click print and you guys are pretty much done um there are a few what am i doing here um print right here the, okay so as you can see, it's not in the correct format, but you want to click orientation um, vertical. Uh, that'll fix that. And then you want to just click fit right there. You can also click center if you want. It doesn't really matter because it's only a small, small difference right there. But yeah, guys, that's basically how I've been doing it. Uh, it works the same way with Macari labels. So if you guys are having a problem with your Macari labels, um, just go ahead and follow this format. I'll even click print so you guys can see it works, even though I don't need this label. Um, Hold on. So make sure you have your printer plugged in. That's also a pretty important part. But yeah, guys, uh, print it out. It looks good. Um, yeah, I know this is probably super self-explanatory, and you know, it, maybe it's gonna help some people out. Maybe not. I just wanted to make the video because it was making me a little frustrated. The Dymo app. Do not recommend. I do not recommend buying a Dymo anymore. Um, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped some people out. If you could leave a like and a uh, comment, maybe tell me if it helped you out. Uh, maybe you could throw it on those uh, notification bells. That would be cool too. Thanks guys so much for watching. Have a good day and good luck hustling. Peace.